Hello, Silver Grayscale here, getting back to more Shovel Knight, Shovel of Hope. We have but one Order of No Quarter member left in Area 2, and that is Mole Knight, who hides out here in the Lost City. Let us hop right in. So this fire slime right here, uh, you can't harm him with Shovel Drops. Thanks to that fire, he uh, he is immune to it. So just do your best to avoid him. And uh, we're gonna fish over here. I'm not gonna say no to that. That will save me a lot of digging. And I won't have to deal with potentially screwing up here <laughs> but thus starts the digging and we can see here that a green slime will become a fire slime if they uh, hit fire uh, what we just killed there uh, he acts kind of like a shield attacker from Mega Man basically just running back and forth and being relatively annoying So yeah, we finally see these birds that we saw in the um, in that dream sequence. So as long as we walk onto and then you know you know stand onto this uh, green section of the beetle here, we will bounce. And that will become very useful in a bit here. Because it will let us do this. And then it will stop about here, which will let us get in here for the treasure. And then we can just bounce right up here. And continue the level. So here we have one of... Um, uh, Mole Knight's little gatekeepers. He will alternate between uh, firing a, uh, firing that wave pattern of fire and trying to stab you with a spear. So, well, we had a mole hidden in our treasure. So be very careful here. We can't kill the firefishes, but they act as a... Um, a way for us to get across certain areas. So again, you know, good level design for once where um, the game introduces a new mechanic in a relatively safe area. What was that even? Alright, we have the red um, gold armor. His specialty is that he will stab twice. But sadly, he is not immune to fire. So... These blocks... Create a chain reaction when hit. And they destroy every block near them. Do keep that in mind for upcoming areas here. Anyway, now we just need to get our way back without, uh, you know, taking a very steamy bath. Ah! That's a very steamy bath. I don't know, sometimes... 
Sometimes I just feel like it just stops the shovel drop, even though I didn't attack, and even though I, you know, didn't uh, let go of the down button. Alright, I think I have the... Yeah. I have this one, so all I need to do is just jump back. At least it saved that. There we go. And now we can just go down here. So, remember what I said in part 1, where uh, if you're in the middle of a shovel drop, you can get out of it by just swinging? That is a very important skill to learn for this level. As you will come to see pretty soon. So, we want to be really careful here. We don't want this platform that we're standing on to be damaged. That means getting rid of that one and then getting rid of this one and basically just avoiding killing those things. So when a when the lava is green like this, it means it's safe to traverse. But we're about to get the literally one of my favorite sub weapons in this game. In the village or out in the field, I have all the deals. You cannot believe what I just found in this chest, wanna see? 3,000 for the dust knuckles. As long as you have a block nearby and just spam the uh, item button, you can traverse via blocks. It is such a fun item. And you can also go through enemies. So, you know, you just gotta uh, immerse your inner JoJo fan and just either go... Ora 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 or muda muda muda, whatever you want to do. I prefer going. Anyways, so yeah, as you notice, we um, always bounce at the highest. There's no controlled bouncing here, so be very mindful. Goldfish. So, uh, if a fire slime is on fire but it hits one of these green gems, uh, or green jellies, uh, it will not be on fire anymore. And probably the best use of it, if it hits lava, it becomes the green bouncy lava. But it's only temporary. But yes, yeah, so you might realize uh, there's going to be a lot of puzzles involved with this right now. So we're going to send this over to that platform. And then quickly make it back to the moving platform before uh, it becomes regular lava again. So this is a bit trickier. We need to hit that in mid-air just so it um, jellifies um, the lava right there, as you saw us do. I'm a bit slow on my reactions. But timing that bounce just right gets us over here to where the other um, music note is. So again, we gotta time it with a mid-air smack. And we're back around. So let's uh, head down. Here's what I meant with uh, you need to time... Uh, you need to get out of your shovel drop. Because if you don't, you're going to make that thing explode and it's gonna be bad news bears. For everyone involved, or mainly you.
And yeah, invulnerability frames, uh, they say fuck you, you're still dying when it comes to fire, so... Uh, basically, the fire will act as a bottomless pit, which, as we all know, is a pain in the ass. Ah, so we gotta get our way all the way back there. Ah, wrong timing. There we go. There we go. And... Did this mid-air hit again? Or... I guess we can do it on the ground, but it's bouncy ground, so it's not that easy. Alright. It's just down below us. Woo! That could have been so bad. You know what? I'm just gonna stand up here and I'm just gonna rain death from above on him. And before we see what's behind that door, let's just grab that checkpoint. And look at that, it's a challenge to see if you understand how the dust knuckle works. Because if you do, there's a lot of money for you and a lot of fun avoiding a painful spiky death. So the moment you touch this thing, it will start moving. The rest of the stage, until the boss room, is on top of this beetle. And sadly, we're gonna have to free the birds. Whew. We made it. There we go, full health. And we can just punch through this. However, the weapon is not going to be that useful against Mole Knight. You're out of your depths, Belanca. Are you lost? These ruins belong to the Aegis, Mole Knight. They are mine now. But more importantly, is that your digging implement? <laughs> I'm astonished you made it ten feet down with a rusty trinket. I will bury you. Mole Knight is a speedy, speedy bugger. Who, like I said at the end of the last episode, is also a digger. But, you know, you can easily hit him. When he becomes flaming like this, he won't take any damage. It's kind of his uh, desperation attack. And then he will attempt to bury you in a lot of bricks that give you nothing. But it's only to make sure that you, you know, can't dodge his attacks. And then we have these blocks. Easily dealt with. Okay, we only need one more hit on him. Oh, look at that. He's right there. <laughs> and then his more people come and take him away. Fare thee well, Mold Knight. It seems we are the superior digger. And that was every night of the Order No Quarter in Area 2. There are three remaining, but they're in Area 3. But for now... We have the same dream yet again. We have to catch her. But of course... All the enemies we've faced won't make it easy. Unfortunately, it is still just a dream. 
As sad as it may seem. Well, we got ourselves a meal, tic uh, meal ticket at least. So we have two things to turn in there, but... We're reaching the end of the valley. Oh, thank you game. <laughs> I was afraid that the game wouldn't give me a free uh, pass, but it did. So two of those. Then let's give you a meal ticket for another health pip. And then of course we're going to buy the max magic upgrade. With that, apart from meal tickets, our uh, visit here is concluded. There is nothing else for us here in the village. So, Next time on Shovel Knight, we're going to take care of some of the bonus stuff and map events of um, uh, Area 2. Starting with the uh, treasure level right below us. And then, of course, we're going to deal with the Traveler, we're going to visit the Armor Outpost, we're going to deal with the Minus Quarry, which is the other treasure level there. And, of course, we're going to deal with the Wandering Enemies. And then, of course... Last but not least, to fully finish off this area, we're going to be visiting the Hall of Champions and pay our respects to the founders of this land. See you guys then!